The man in the wheelchair walked to the hospital, received treatment, and is now discharged. How will he get back to his island home in Fiji, a Pacific Island country with less than one million people and without proper support for people with disability? Apart from the public health concerns of COVID-19, Fiji's biggest health crisis is the high incidence of non-communicable diseases, including diabetes. Diabetes affects one-third of Fiji's adult population, causing many premature deaths and disabilities. I investigated what the indigenous people described as the ideal nursing care for a patient living with diabetes and associated conditions, including amputations, which is happening every 12 hours. In between 2011 to 2017, 68% of those that were amputated in Fiji were the indigenous people. Nurses like me have a key role in working with patients in terms of treatment and disease management. Currently, there seems to be a disconnect between the patients and the nurses' expectations of care, which is why my research is important. Using the Vono research design through the Talano methodology, 12 patients and 11 nurses participated in focus group discussions, face-to-face -face interviews, and field observations. I found that the patients were culturally unlikely to question, challenge, or to take control of their illnesses and preventative measures, so they are asking for a culturally considerate nursing care. They have difficulties in living and accessing the planned care, so they are asking for support. They are passive and accept medical decision making, so they are requesting for more time to discuss the amputation plans with their families. One patient's story that captured the problem was, and I quote, since they have decided I remain quiet, unquote. The patient's wound was healing, but his leg was amputated because the surgeon said it was to happen. Neither the nurse nor the patient challenged that decision. On the other hand, the nurses are frustrated because they are so busy troubleshooting organizational issues. Therefore, they are providing inappropriate nursing care. They lack the extra knowledge on diabetes, so they are requesting for a specialized nursing diabetes education. And they also lack the extra knowledge on herbal therapies because indigenous people have their own herbal remedies for any ailment, hence the request for research. Overall, it means that the nurses are attempting a holistic care within a highly medicalized model of care. Now, reducing the horrible incidence and the consequences of diabetes in Fiji will only be achieved if the nurses are empowered to deliver the exact same care that the patients are describing. Where to from here? I will take this back to Fiji and have to consider how to challenge a very patriarchal society that will not easily challenge medicine and change to a preventative focus. Thank you.